No one should go hungry. His Eminence Tam Rinpoche, the founder of Kachara Soup Kitchen or in short, KSK, experienced the cold and hunger as a teenager in the USA. This experience motivated Rinpoche to set up KSK more than 10 years ago to ease the hardship of the less fortunate living on the streets in Kuala Lumpur. From handing out food, KSK is now working to reducing food wastage with the generosity of kind Malaysians and volunteers from all walks of life, KSK distributes food to the poor, regardless of skin colour and creed. Hence, KSK tagline, Hunger Knows No Barrier. Every year, about one-third of the food produced which is equivalent to 1.3 billion tonnes or a value of $1 trillion is wasted. Recognising this, as Kachara Soup Kitchen is growing, we plan to not just feed the homeless, we're also planning to curb homelessness before it actually happens. That is the principal reason why we established Kachara Food Bank in 2012. Saya ada lima orang anak. Pagi di alam tak ada breakfast, terus makan tengah hari dengan malam saja. Ada baru boleh bagi, tak ada macam mana nak bagi. Bila food bank hantar, hidup pun saya pun sudah ubah. Sekarang saya senang. Di hantar saya susu, milo dengan buah-buahan, makanan cukup. Food bank is a new concept here in Malaysia. It acts like food storage and distribution depot to the non-profit organizations. Here at Kachara Food Bank, we strongly believe that having this food bank is the next effective way in ending homelessness and hunger. Well, how Food Bank works is that when we receive all these donations, we keep all this food into the refrigerator in our warehouse. Mostly it is all perishable goods and then sometimes dry provisions. We will redistribute it all to the needy families that we have already registered using our vans and trucks. We also distribute like daily use items such as sanitary pads or detergents. Instead of buying those items, we are able to save up some money, use it on the emergency cases. Tesco has been partnering with Kachara Soup Kitchen since 2016 to help us channel out surplus food from all of our stores nationwide for the benefit of the underprivileged community. Since then, we have actually donated more than 500 tons of food that have benefited more than 170 charities nationwide. We believe the Kachara is an excellent platform for us to reduce food waste in Malaysia and also at the same time to give back to the community. Well, Kachara Soup Kitchen has about 300 volunteers every week. Uh, they help with surplus food rescue, distributing food and other necessities and other things for the beneficiaries out there. Now the organisation is always looking for volunteers and volunteers are important because in order to make sustainable work and very impactful work towards the beneficiaries, uh, you actually need a constant stream of volunteers and um, I think as a community we can do a lot more. Um, volunteerism is actually one of the first ways to start. I've been volunteering in Kachara Soup Kitchen for almost three to four years right now and I feel the clients over here, they have limited access to reach the healthcare facilities. So by having this uh, new IMU set up, we can do wound dressings, small surgical procedures here in a very controlled and more sterile environment. It is my pleasure to be here volunteering and helping them because if we do not help them, who else would? Volunteering in KSK has changed the way I live life. Um, 
to me, the poor did not get into where they are because of laziness, but it's because of circumstances that's beyond their means. And it's also something that I never knew until I got involved. So I think we should never judge a book by its cover. heartbreaking to see people from the poor family suffering because of lack of food and malnutrition. Mainly it's affecting young children and without this food they are not able to concentrate in their studies and they're also suffering from many illnesses as a result of this. So we are grateful to Kachara Food Bank for supplying their surplus food and this allows the children to be able to eat on a daily basis. I'm teaching them to make uh, bags from jeans. Learning to make a, a jeans bag is not easy. Even though it's tough for them, they will still come up to face the challenges. Uh. Actually, what we are trying to do is we are trying to empower the clients with uh, skills to help them earn a living. At least they have uh, a, a source of income for themselves. 当一个社会可以团结起来的时候，我们不仅可以提供食物，还有必需品给有需要的人。这也是一种精神上的支持，来改善他们现在的困境。所以我觉得，身为马来西亚人，我们更应该回馈热情，还有好客的精神，来帮